Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this lesson, I will talk to you about a few materials, what the properties are and where to use them. Materials. Look at this picture. What do you think this is? Well done, it's wood. We get wood from trees, so it's a natural material. It is also hard and strong. Therefore, we use it to make furniture, like cupboards. We also use wood to make pencils, to write with. Some homes are made of wood, like the one in this picture. Can you think of other things that, that we can make from wood? Now this material is man-made. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's plastic. A material we use in so many products. It is waterproof and lasts for a long time, which is what the word durable means. We use plastic to manufacture plastic bottles. We also use it to manufacture toys and plastic cups. Right now, the world is working on using less plastic and recycling it because of its effect on the environment. Can you guess what this material is? Yes, fabrics. So cotton and wool are examples of fabrics. We make cotton of plants and wool from animals like sheep. Fabrics are flexible and absorbent, so they absorb water and liquids. Do you know what we call the fibres grouped together in this picture, the picture on the right hand side? Yes, we call this yarn. Yarn is used to make cloth by knitting or crocheting. We use fabrics in the making of some furniture, like the sofa in this picture, and the cushion. We also use fabrics to make clothes and curtains. Do you know what this glove is made of? Yes, it's made of rubber. Rubber is waterproof, flexible and has high tear resistance, which means that we cannot tear it easily. Tires are made of rubber, as well as balloons. Can you tell what our next material is? Metal. Metals are strong and shiny. They are also ductile, which means that they can change their shape without losing strength or breath. Metals are also good conductors of heat and electricity, so they allow heat and electricity to flow through them. What do you see in this picture? A spoon, a fork, we call them cutlery. So metal is used to make cutlery, tools. Can you think of anything else that is made from metal? And for the last material in this presentation, glass. Glass is transparent so you can see through it, and fragile, meaning that it can be easily broken. Glass is used to manufacture bottles, windows, and mirrors. Is everything clear so far? If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. 
Now that we have learned a little bit about some materials, let's practice. What materials is an umbrella made from? The handle of the umbrella is made from hard material, like metal or wood, because they are strong. And the shield is made of plastic, because it is waterproof and light. What about the skateboard? What is it made from? The board itself is made from wood. The wheels are made from rubber and the screws are made from metal. What materials are these clothes made from? The t-shirts are made from cotton to keep us nice and cool in summer. And the pullover and the beanie are made from wool to keep us nice and warm in winter. What is the weather like right now where you live? Is it getting cold? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.